Well, the White Sox historic game at the Field of Dreams movie site in Iowa is still months away and coming in August. But demand for a room is so high, and as you can imagine, not many hotel rooms mm. near the cornfield. So an Iowa town is hosting a class tonight for residents on how to become an Airbnb host. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas made the trip to Dyersville for an inside look at the ballpark's construction. All right, we are here at the home of the iconic Field of Dreams movie. Roman Weinberg knows all about dreams, but this one... Home plate is going to be back in that corner. A pro baseball field being built in Dyersville. Well, if you asked him a few years ago, that's a dream that wouldn't come true. To say that I would expect the Yankees and White Sox to play uh, literally in our front yard in 2020, would it would be a lie. Weinberg is the head of operations at the iconic movie site, a tourist attraction for Dyersville. He showed us the snow-covered construction site that will become a temporary 8,000-seat ballpark, a home run away from the original Field of Dreams. Work started on the field last fall. I think everyone can agree it'll be a very unique venue, and everyone will be able to see the actual Field of Dreams movie site from their seat. The spot where I'm standing right now will become right field for game day, and this temporary fence will actually become a see-through wall so that fans could see a cornfield nearby. An intimate setting to most baseball fans, but 8,000 is nearly double the population of Dyersville. This is going to be an epic event. Carla Thompson of the Chamber of Commerce says hotels are booked for about an hour out. Is this heaven? It's Iowa. And MLB hasn't even sold any tickets yet. They won't be released until spring. We know 8,000 people are coming because there's yeah. going to be that many tickets, but it's the unknown of how many people are going to come without tickets. The town is planning four days of fun around the game, including concerts and an MLB fan fest. So many locals are looking to cash in that tonight the town is hosting an Airbnb information session. Because that's kind of new out here, um, so they'll get information on what's entailed, how to be a host, what the costs, coverage, what to expect. People will come, Ray. The question is, where will they come from? MLB is working out the details. They did say they'll make sure tickets are available to Iowa residents as well as Yankees and Sox fans. The small stadium will be modeled in part after the old Comiskey Park. It's going to be surreal for us the day of, and uh, right now it's just keep your eye on the finish line. Weinberg tells us construction crews will be back out here as soon as the weather allows this spring, getting the field ready for game day. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Can't wait to see it transform. We've also learned the stands will be taken down after that August game, but the field itself will actually stay there. The owners will use it for events like concerts, camps, and of course, some baseball games. If you build